of America. This is Charlie. If you'd asked me a couple of years ago, I would have told you he was one of America's fastest and well on his way to be America's best open World Cup downhill. For those unfamiliar with downhill, it's been called the Formula One of mountain biking. A highly precise sport where a single person races on a roughly three minute course for the fastest time. Charlie had proven himself stateside with national titles and a few World Cup podiums under his belt. His racing peers will attest to his work ethic being among the most rigorous of anyone. Nicknamed the Colonel, he wakes up most mornings to a nice bath, followed by a coffee, then the first of three workouts a day. Charlie had everything going for him in his racing career and had put in the work to be at the top. But over the past few years, what's transpired is something totally different. But before we get there, let's go back even earlier. Charlie grew up racing Mo. From the age of five, Charlie and his family fully committed themselves to Mo Cross. The Harrison family are a family that fully commit themselves to everything they do. Around the age of 13, Charlie made the transition from motos to bikes. At his first downhill race, he had already been spotted for a rider development program. In the next few years, Charlie made some of his best friends and had chipped away at racing. For the last few seasons, he'd been on Trek Factory racing alongside several world champions. This team gave Charlie every opportunity to perform at the highest level. And as many current and former World Cup racers will tell you, in his last few years we were all buying stock in Charlie getting results. But each time it looked like it was time for more results, adversity would strike. You see, in the past few racing seasons, Charlie's gotten hurt. And he's gotten hurt a lot. And during those breaks, in between the races, or due to injuries, Charlie discovered trucks and camping. And this gave Charlie something he could enjoy, injured or a scheduled rest periods that his coach would assign. After the third consecutive year of his World Cup season ending early due to injury, retirement became a real question. After choosing to retire from racing, Charlie stopped riding bikes. What had been fully tied into a career wasn't something he could just throw a leg over and enjoy. But over time, riding for fun came back. And the more he rode outside of a training schedule, the more he fell in love again. And now Charlie is finding ways to bring his love for riding and his love for trucks and camping together. Enjoying the balance that's found in pursuing an experience with no set goals or agenda. 
just embracing the aimless journey, loving each twist and turn of life's road, regardless of where it may lead.